talking to sense, lads. Your old man is dumped in the blooper. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks you hearty. Understanding. One heap to put another. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar. But when you were dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, oh, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. should split up to confuse them. It's the best idea you've had today. Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. We're very sorry. Our captain delayed us. Our indigenous wicked heart. This will be Captain Mendoza. Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you. Only he must be present for a, a, a hanging. Your hanging? Oh, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may go, if you like. Love to. Especially if Captain Mendoza's pulling the trap. Man owes me money, but the slaves are sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have food to sell, boogers and such. Excellent. No volveré a repetirlo. Senor, the hanging will be started soon. Let's not dilly dally. Yes, sir. Here we go.
How long will this hanging take, man? I don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. Quick as anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want reales, mind. I want goods. Things I can sell. Tobacco, rum, sugar. Si, sí, si. Sí. We have much fine sugar. Grapes we took off a fat Englishman last night. Englishman? Por el delito de motín contra tu capitán. Si. Sí. Sugar from Barbados. Very fine. We Oscar. hold it in the Castillo after the man started the fight last night. He ran, left his sugar behind. Very fine. Well, that's a start. Shall I accompany him to the Castillo? No, sir. Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good Lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El tiburón, Governor Torres' is man.
Quédate donde está. Intenta que no escape. about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. 
Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no, no, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Buenas dias, Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. ¿Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos, franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más... respetable. Lleva meses en el mar. Sé indulgente con él. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Duncan I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously, a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse, <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for them. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his horse. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. I think, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets. 
the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique! All right, here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, every target within the allotted time. Rotten luck, eh? Duncan. Where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah. Damaged, sadly, beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> Two blades. That is the custom, we? Eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your... Techniques. Well, uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh... show you what I know. Here. You see? The situation's well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose. Just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? God, that's the spirit! Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating! The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana. I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. 
And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See, si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. Guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this Observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men. No lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning.
Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool built by the Precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Above! They're on the rooftops! Watch the street again. They could be anywhere. To action then. Mish Britan Betiwaye.
You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate! Stop, or I'll kneecap you! Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. <laughs> With luck. Return myself a governor, and with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. ¿Alguna vez has tenido dos zorras en tu madriguera? Mejor que estar en el mar con la única God, sink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most. How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device. I could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> A ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. Imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate... ...privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to, in private.
Últimas palabras. Captain Pissoff. Bianca Pov Pisa. Where is this sage? You set him free. I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure plate. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Wild. Despicable display. This toss part is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? and steal a ship. Que Dios nos ayude. No me gusta la pinta de esa tormenta que se acerca. Parece que se está desviando al oeste, hacia el Golfo. Quizá estemos a salvo. Unlucky lad.
Christ, the seas are uneasy today. We're stealing a brick. Hey, take what you need. It won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee in. Aye, there's a brig in the sea. I'll make my way through it. favor. You're sailing with me. I follow you to hell for this, mate. Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. Voy a ir a lo más alto. 
Esto es una locura. Calma. ¡Alto ahí! ¡Eh, tú! ¡Alto! ¡Vuelve aquí esa bandija! ¿A dónde crees que vas? Going topside. Be ready. on those galleons. See, they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too slow for this weather. Fire! Awaiting your mark, Captain. Fire! No! No! Bark any orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Thanks. 
By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. Ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! Taking this one home. I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. Despite a few items in the hold earlier, powder and a few pistols, I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shout. So worry about your own armament when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. 
We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. This is more like it.
Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holes, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But they'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in Nassau. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Captain Queer Nubs, tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boyo, back to your master. Aye, we was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. You're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Cheers, Addy. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hearty.
Cheers, Addy. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hearty. They need to hang him! Blood Last of point. many innocent. Extending your sights. Faster, lads. We're losing ground. Oh, Captain, 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 Captain. In my sight, clear and safe. Please! 
Thank you. Heartily, Edward. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. See here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Kenway. Not a bad looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Is mine bigger than yours? No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. Many prizes that we take together as privateers. <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! Find us a schooner with that spyglass, Kenway. There's a prize worth taking. Good. Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to sternum. Fire what cannons you will. And land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake, don't think it. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done. She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her.
Y tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? A little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? <laughs> Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hole and take everything that isn't nailed down. sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Good take today, Kenway. Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jackdaw with a few more trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a price that will set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, just split it and sail home? Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Oh, do me, Johnny Bogue, the packet is a rolling. Do me, Johnny Bogue, do. Oh, do me, Johnny Boker, we're pulling all together. Do me, Johnny Boker, do. Oh, do me, Johnny Boker, we're all for better weather. Do me, Johnny Boker, do. Oh, do me, Johnny Boker, and soon we'll be in London town. Do me, Johnny Boker, do. Oh, do me, Johnny
I think we're clear, sir. All in the stun cell. Reef the foreman. ¿Qué le trae por aquí, capitán? Bad take today. Keep this up, and NASA will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here. Praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lent you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain. Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? You won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lad? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters. All hands to cannon. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as far as broadside. Let's test those Kick powder him and Give them a chase, die. Good thing. Fire! Be careful, Captain! 
the cripple out! Fire! Ready to fire, sir! Fire! Fire! It's vulnerable there, Captain! Fire! 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 That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So how do we get rid of this notoriety you've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. To see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking.
right there, Captain. Fire! Cannon ready! Come! Fire! Dropping my race for impact! Taking a puppy, Captain! Race! Fire! With the most Fire! Fire! We're ready, sir. Fire! Let's go expose. Take the shot. Fire! Concentrate on the task. Incoming fire! Fire! There's a good shot to cripple us. Fire! On your mark, Captain. Ready to spit, sir! Fire! Brace yourself! You will break us apart! Fire! He's weak, he's right there, Captain! Fire! Ready to fire! Fire! Captain! That's where the most is! Batten yourself! That cloud got a square! Fire! No back right! Do not let her Ready to burst! Fire! 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 to fire, sir! It is firing! We're down to the ship, can we? Keep out of her way! She will ram us! Steady! Steady! Take away! Cliff dead ahead! Be careful, Captain! Fire! 
Ready to fire, sir! Ease off the wing! Hold down and pull up! Pull those men! New main sails! Come on, you slugs! Man those sheets! Come! Are you mad, Captain? Fire! I won't play shot there! Waiting orders, Fire! She's vulnerable there, Captain! Fire! Clouded order! Fire! 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 Hey, friend. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, it's hard. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. Jesus, will you listen to your trite? Still dreaming all about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. 
What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Thank you. 